Hi, my name is Roberto Serini. I'm a photographer based in New York City and Milan, Italy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my website www.robertoserini.com forward slash tutorials for more tutorials. So a lot of people have been asking me about speed lights or flashes. So that's what we're going to cover today. Now there are many different brands. You can get Canon, Nikon. I like to use uh, Flashpoint. There's many good ones out there and they've gotten very inexpensive. And there's just different ways of using it. So today we're going to I'm going to show you using our model here, Alex, and we're going to, I'm going to show you different ways of pointing them to get different effects. So one thing, um, the, the new ones, especially if they're ETTL, the ETTL system or TTL system, uh, depending on the brand has gotten really, really good. So you can start with that. I personally like to use them on manual. And that is so that that way I can control the power of it and I don't have to worry about the camera thinking and trying to figure out what the correct exposure may or may not be because there are a lot of situations especially if you're shooting an event for instance uh, and the lighting uh, is changing a lot that the camera will miss sometimes and you'll get overexposed or underexposed shots whereas if I set it on manual I'll take a shot if it's too too dark bump it up maybe one or two stops, boom, done. I'm there, I don't, have, I don't have to worry about the camera not making the right decision. But again, that's, it's a good way to start is just set your flash on TTL or ETTL or ITTL, whatever it's called on your brand of flash. Now, not all flashes have that, not all speed lights have it. So it's usually the medium high-end ones that do. So, and if you get one, I would suggest you get a medium high-end speed light, not a real cheap one. So let's start with on camera flash. So here we go. It is mounted on my camera. I have it set on ETTL, so I can show you what it does. And right now it's just you know, hitting straight on and let's see what it looks like. Beautiful. Now my camera is set to ISO 200. I'm at f5.6 and I'm at 160th of a second. Now you'll have to look at your camera manual, but cameras all do have what's called a max sync speed. And that is the fastest, uh, the fastest shutter speed that you can set your camera before you get a black line on your camera. All that is, it's called the sync speed. What that means is that as the shutter opens and closes, if you set it too fast, the light from the speed light when it emit, when the speed light emits the light, the shutter will not have gone all the way through and therefore you'll actually, the black band, what you're actually seeing the physical shutter inside of your camera. So a lot, usually if you sit around 160th of a second, you're safe on most cameras. Some cameras will go to 200, 250. You're just gonna have to look at the manual on your particular camera and look for sync speed or max sync speed. So this is what this image looks like. With the, with the flash straight on. Now, I don't think it's very flattering. It's flat and it looks very amateurish. So here's the next one that we're gonna do. We are going to bounce. This is what I like to do. If I have to use it on camera, I will always bounce against the ceiling, a sidewall, a person wearing a, wearing a white dress or a white shirt. It doesn't matter, but you, you get a much more flattering shot and one important, important rule with lighting a person, and this is true also with natural light, is you always want to try to get the light to come from the side the nose is pointed to. So if her head is pointed to her right, you want the light coming from the right. If it's pointed to the left, you want the light coming from the left. And what that does, it creates a slimming effect because you're photographing on the darker side and it, again, it creates a slimming effect, effect more flattering to the face. So in this case, we're gonna bounce to the left. So we're gonna bounce on my left. Turn your head a little bit more towards me. Towards me, please. Perfect. And again, I'm set on ETTL. So you see the difference between this image and the previous image. I like this one much better. I think it's a more flattering photo. Now, Let's do another one bouncing from the ceiling. Again, I'm going 
to the diagonal up here to my left up on the top. And again, if you look at this image compared to the first one, it has more character. The light is just a better way of lighting the image. And again, this is all shot on ETTL. So the camera is doing great. Light conditions are not changing and we're getting really good photos.